Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating different ways to troubleshoot and fix loud fan noise on computers, more specifically on laptops. Of course, most of these solutions are equally applicable to desktop computers. Now, loud fan noise can be annoying, but even more than that, it could also be a sign that your laptop is struggling with some issues that need to be resolved. So here I present a range of troubleshooting steps from simple solutions like cleaning dust from the air vents of the laptop all the way to the more demanding solutions like checking the thermal sensors on your motherboard. Obviously, you do not have to implement all the solutions described in this tutorial, so I have included brief descriptions of the scenarios where each solution is more likely to be the proper solution for resolving your loud fan issues. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so if you started noticing this loud fan noise just after making a fresh Windows installation, then the first thing to try would be to run a full Windows update, which should include a BIOS update. And then you also need to ensure your display adapters are installed and that your graphics card drivers are properly updated. This is because when Windows is freshly installed, it uses the basic Microsoft display drivers which lack proper GPU power management. These generate drivers can cause the GPU to run at higher clock speeds, producing more heat and making the fans work harder. So by installing the latest official drivers from Nvidia, AMD or Intel, you ensure optimal power and thermal management. To update your driver, simply right click on the Windows Start icon and select Settings. On the Settings page right at the bottom, you should see Windows Update, click on that. And then on this page, click on the check for updates button or download and install or whatever it says here and allow the full updates to download and install accordingly. Now you might need to restart afterwards to allow the full updates configuration to complete. After the updates, check your device manager to ensure the graphics card drivers have been properly installed. To do that, right click on the Windows that icon and select device manager. On the device manager page, expand the display adapters. Here, if for some reason it still says Microsoft Basic Display Adapter or has a yellow triangle, then you may need to visit your manufacturer support page to download and manually install the latest graphic drivers for your device. Now, if after updating your drivers, your fan is still too loud, then the next step would be to check for overheating using a temperature monitoring tool. This is because loud fan noise could be due to other factors other than overheating. For instance, if your thermal sensors are defective, that could also lead to loud fan noise as will be seen later in this video. So here you can use tools like HW Monitor or Core Temp to check both CPU and GPU temperatures. These tools are completely free. You can just search them on Google, download and install, and then run them to check your temperatures. temperatures are high meaning above 80 degrees celsius and you are not running some really high impact or power demanding applications then you need to take necessary steps to cool down your laptop the first in that line would be to clean the laptop's vents and fans there are different levels to this you can simply turn off and unplug the laptop then use compressed air to blow out dust from the vents If you are comfortable with disassembling your laptop, then you can open the laptop and clean the fans with a soft brush or cotton swab in addition to blowing with compressed air. This is kind of intuitive, it simply clears dust and debris from the vents, providing better airflow and hence reducing the stress on the cooling fans. And just to mention here that after each step, you should always check for overheating once again as described earlier and also check your fan to see if the loud noise has reduced or stopped entirely. If your fans are still blasting and temperatures are still high, then the next step would be to change your thermal paste. Over time, the thermal paste between the CPU, the GPU and the heatsink dries out, hence reducing cooling efficiency. Now, this is a bit more demanding and requires disassembling your laptop. If you are not sure how to disassemble your laptop, you can search here on YouTube to see if someone has made a tutorial that you can follow. 
Otherwise, you might be better off seeking the help of a technician. Now, reapplying thermal paste between the CPU, the GPU, and the heat sink can significantly improve heat dissipation, which will then reduce the stress on your cooling fans and hence reduce the noise. If the noise continues, the next step would be to check and reduce unnecessary background processes. High CPU and RAM usage from background processes can cause the laptop's fans to run loudly as the system works harder to cool itself. So reducing these background processes can significantly lower system load, reducing heat and also reducing the fan noise. To do this, simply right click on the Windows start icon and select Task Manager. On the task manager under processes tab check for applications consuming high cpu high memory or high disk usage the common culprits here usually include browsers with multiple tabs cloud sync services or background updaters now in addition you could also look out for any malware programs or applications you don't remember installing for apps you are not sure about simply search them on google to see what they actually do and then you can decide if you need them or not. If you don't need them, just right click and select end task for such unnecessary applications. You can also consider uninstalling them entirely if you feel that will solve the problem better. Now, while we are still here, you may also want to disable unnecessary startup programs running in the background. To do that, just click on the startup apps tab. And then here, just disable non-essential programs. It could be Skype, OneDrive, Adobe services you don't need. Of course, you need to check that you don't need them before you disable them. If the loud fan continues, the next step would be to change your fan settings. Some laptops have fan control settings in the BIOS or UEFI interface. You can check and see if your laptop has this feature. To do this, simply restart the laptop. Then press the required key to get into your BIOS or UEFI settings. It could be F2, F10, delete or escape depending on the brand. In the BIOS settings, look for fan control, thermal management or some other similar settings to help you make this adjustment. Now in those kind of settings, you would see something like silent mode, balanced or performance mode or some other related settings that can help you regulate your fan speed. Now when you make those changes, Remember to save before exiting. Now, please note that not all BIOS versions support manual fan control, so check your laptop's documentation to verify. If your BIOS doesn't support fan control, then you could also use some software like SpeedFan or some other manufacturer-provided utilities like the Dell Power Manager, the Asus Amori Create, or the Lenovo Vantage for adjusting fan behavior or speeds. If that still doesn't help, then consider using an external cooling pad to support the internal cooling system in your laptop. This could come in handy in situations where you already know the cause of the overheating and hence the loud fan noise and you want to ameliorate the situation. For instance, if your laptop gets hot on the surfaces quickly when gaming or video editing or rendering or running some demanding graphics applications, then you clearly know where the heat is coming from and for such situations, augmenting with an external cooling pad could go a long way and now to the most demanding of the solutions so if none of the solutions so far has worked for you then there is a chance that the thermal sensors on your motherboard has gone defective this is more likely if the loud fan noise starts right when you boot up the computer and nothing of significance is running on it just like the case with this hp elite book the fan just starts blasting a few moments after i power it up sometimes immediately here all drivers have been installed and there is no high usage on the CPU, memory, disk or network. Plus, the laptop doesn't physically feel hot at all, but the fans keep blasting. This makes the thermal sensor a potential cause of the loud fan noise. As to why this is the most demanding fix, first, it requires disassembling your laptop. Second, locating your thermal sensor is not particularly easy. Most manufacturers have them sold out to the motherboard and sometimes the leveling is not clear enough to identify them. You may need to refer to your motherboard schematic diagram to locate where the thermal sensors are. Third, changing them could be even more demanding, especially if they are sold out to the mainboard. So you have to know what you are doing to actually implement this solution. For this EliteBook X360 1020G2, I can see from running the speed fan tool that one of the sensors is bad. 
you can see here that the temp 4 sensor says 127 celsius and it remains that way and doesn't change unlike the others so clearly there is an issue here luckily hp support has put out a video on youtube on how to locate the thermal sensor on this laptop so this makes it a lot easier than most in addition the thermal sensor is attached to the motherboard via a cable so it is easy to purchase a new sensor and replace the defective one here the fan basically runs moderately but as soon as i attach back the sensor it starts making the loud noise again just pay attention So here clearly the sensor is defective and changing the sensor was the only solution that worked to silence the fans on this laptop. And finally, just to cover one exception, if you notice that the sounds from your laptop fan is not just coming from the fan spinning too fast, but rather from some kind of cranky rattling movements, then that could suggest that the fan is wobbly or scratching the surrounding surfaces as it spins. In that case, you will need to change the fan entirely. For this, you will need to check that you order a matching fan and also to carefully detach the fan from the board and attach a new one. If you are unsure on how to do this, then you might be better off seeking the help of a technician. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks or if you have other solutions that haven't been mentioned here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.